Elegy shocked us all earlier this year when they unveiled the massive Neptune 3 Max, a supersized version of their Neptune 3 Pro series machine that was bigger than most FDM machines on the market. You may remember that I printed a stool on my 3 Max, one of, if not the biggest prints I've ever done. Well, Elegoo have done it again, supersizing the clipper-enabled Neptune 4 and releasing the 4 Max, which retails for $470 US dollars. Let's get this thing together before we go over the specs. Assembly is relatively easy and the machine ships in two major parts, the gantry and the base. A pro tip for assembly here is to get a hold of one of these roofing squares, they're relatively cheap and can help you get the giant gantry perfectly square to the frame before locking in the struts and tightening the Z extrusion from the bottom of the base. It seems like Elegoo listened to the community after the launch of the Neptune 4 and 4 Pro as this one sports a little antenna for wireless network printing. In the print head assembly under the Kylo Ren-esque shroud is a pancake stepper, inductive bed sensor, direct drive extruder, and a new hot end heat block design. These elongated heater blocks with the heating cartridge running parallel to the nozzle seem to be the trend for fast printing these days. Let me know in the comments if this reminds you of another fast printer's hot end design. After connecting a few wires and bolting on the screen and auxiliary part cooling fan, we're ready to fire this machine up. Make sure you pull these injection molded plastic parts out from under the bed before turning it on for the first time. While digging around in the menus, I noticed they added input shaping and PID calibration wizards in the advanced menu. Upon closer inspection, there's an accelerometer permanently installed under the bed. And in the manual, it looks like the daughter board for the print head assembly has an accelerometer on it as well. So all the calibrations for this machine can be done right from the touch screen on the printer, which is awesome to see. In the manual, I found mention of a one-click calibration wizard that'll run resonance, PID, and mesh bed calibration one after the other. I think I have a pre-release firmware that's missing this, but the idea is super cool. Tuning the machine took under 15 minutes and we're ready to start a few prints. First up is the Buddha test print included on the thumb drive. This took 45 minutes and there's no sign of ghosting or ringing here so it looks like the resonance tuning is doing its job. At 0.2 millimeters, this came out great. I just moved into a new place and we have a serious wasp problem. So I'm going to print this design I made back in 2017 to try and hopefully scare them away. I used the Elegoo slicer to slice this model. It's a pretty clean reskin of Kira and it estimated this 150% size model to take about three hours. This thing turned out great. It's super solid because I used three perimeters and should hopefully keep any wasps from setting up camp near my deck. Finally, I'm going to queue up this articulated snake and scale it to 250%. This thing took under 24 hours with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I think this machine could really benefit from a 0.6 nozzle, but just look at the size of this thing. Super cool. So what are my initial thoughts on the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max? 
Having a build volume of this size puts this printer in a realm of its own with almost no competition. The added improvements that Elegoo has made with including Wi-Fi, accelerometers, and a new hot end design mean this thing should be more or less future proof for the next couple years. If cosplay props like helmets are in your print queue, then this printer will fit perfectly into your workshop. Special thanks to Elegoo for sponsoring this video and sending the Neptune 4 Max for me to take a look at. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.